another great donation to, the, to our museum was the a donation by Mr. Hickson. That was back in the 70s. Uh, he donated this entire collection, not at once again, but all over the years from 1971 to 1977. Um, and the most spectacular piece, the most famous as well, is this ruby from Burma that was donated to our collection. We took it out of, on display just for you to see and what happened, like we kept the glue here, it actually stands and sits there. So the white stuff that you see is not the mineral, but just the stand. That's the back of it. And some calcite was etched away, so there is nothing much to see than the, just the ruby now. Mr. Hickson had a lot of gems, not only minerals, but a lot of gems that are, most of them are on display now at our museum for everybody to see. So we took another piece out of display, and this one comes from the Chromie collection. Again, another donor that gave uh, the collection to us, that was back uh, in 1985. This collection came out out of completely surprise, we didn't know the person at the time, and we received this collection in its will, along with a nice endowment for our research. This is a spectacular autoclase from Madagascar. Beautiful color, completely pure again. And it's pretty from almost every side, so perfectly displayable specimen. Perfectly sharp faces. You have actually some dissolution again happening on the, on the surface of this guy. A few things here that you usually don't see as rough crystal but as gemstone, this is an emerald along with this guy here. This one is spectacular. It, come, it comes from Colombia. It's spectacular just by the shape of it. The alignment of the crystals are so unusual. I've never seen that before. The white here is calcite. This was part of the Hindin collection, Mr. Hindin. Again, that was given to us quite recently. And this one is usually on display in the collector case under the Hindin uh, collection. And just to show you a difference between, uh, between different uh, emerald crystals, same, some, same locality, but this time you will see that the emeralds are completely transparent beautiful shape. So even from one locality that shows you why we would like several specimens sometimes from the same locality because of the difference in shape that it can have, the difference in purity, difference in color. So same thing, this is calcite here in white and the calcite is actually twinned in this case. Same locality but you see completely different shape.